Yeah. All right. Toilet sounds, eating sounds. Here's Fun's second lot of horror game episode reveals sort of You're playing episode five. Episode playtime two hours. You might want to turn those off. The the eating sounds are bad. Oh I didn't get any bad. Alright, I'll turn those off. Hi Chew. How are you? You miss me about pick you missed me, um Putting cum on something called a donor, as well as fetus blood. You missed that. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, Chew. Does that sound better? Yes. Also, sorry if my voice sounds bad. Uh, I got COVID. So if your sniffles are a bit of a cough, it that's fine. Well, that's not good. Yeah. You have been wearing masks, right? Yes, I have. December 8th. That's not today's date. It's, um, the 27th of uh, September. I need a coffee to get done with today. Oh, shit. I'm back at the call center. <laughs> I want anomalies we deal with. <laughs> Remember to go and buy your co-worker. Wait, can I? Okay, where's my co-worker? I just don't want to leave. I need a cup of coffee. Where, where's my coworker? I need to annoy my coworker. They're not here. Where's my coworkers? I'll be on the hunt for annoying coworkers. Fuck. <laughs> Other side room. Oh, okay. I'm coming to annoy your ass. Okay, where are you? Damn it! <laughs> in here? Wait, can I go in this one? Why are there... Chairs outside of a bed. I can't go in the men's room. <laughs> I feel like I'm hurting you. Right, you're the only person to can be. Take a turn after seeing I walk in a straight line. Oh. <laughs> oh, there they are. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Just trying to check if you need anything. Get these kinds of... Make up their minds. So we're on that report. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Good luck. I have to finish this. I have to finish this. Can you come back later? Hey, listen. I'm trying to get this done now. Sid, I've got enough on my plate right now. 
<laughs> Did you not hear me? I had to finish this. That's why I'm trying to get this done. Time to throw stuff at him. Can you come back to my Wait, can we? Damn, I was trying to steal his calculator. Okay, so I need to find an item to throw. Do you mind? Some of us are actually working here. <laughs> uh. You're asking for it. <laughs> Last item, I swear. Wait, does the calculator say boobs? Of course. I swear, if one more thing hits my desk, I'm gonna tell HR about this. You're asking for it. Oh, I was hoping they say something different. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. My hands are full. I don't know how to use a coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never once in my life used a coffee maker. I don't know what I'm doing. It needs water. Okay. Please tell me that's a joke. Everyone knows each other's do shit. Please tell me that's a joke. We need an empty cup to fill of water. Or, you know, I could just use the fucking pitcher. You need to put on a lid. I ain't no pussy. I don't need no lids. Where the fuck the lids? Oh. <laughs> Need to use the restroom. Oh uh, yeah, let's go to the restroom <laughs> while I'm drinking coffee. Wait, what? What? Oh, I... I it's a loaded meal. Don't take fruit and drinks in the bathroom. Hi. <gasps> Jesus! I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. Okay, I guess. I like clean light because it's it's pretty quiet at this hour. Working late again, huh? Yeah, well. You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. Me too. I was done with it. People happy. He seems nice. Oh. You were just in there a second ago. I know exactly where to throw this. 
Go for Sydney hey, Harper. Orf, it's Mike. Oh, just voice acting? Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. Oh, there was? I don't remember. <laughs> no. It even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work's getting overwhelming lately. Damn, Arp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. It was... I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't wanna stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. All right. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I sure make the booking right, now. Right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, now to book a thousand dollar a night house. What am I looking at? <laughs> What's this? What did I just do? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, great. Those are two likes to program. <laughs> Damn it, I was typing penis. All right, fine. We'll go for an achievement. What? Wait, build. I am not good at typing games. There, a chart. New. Mark. Fuck. You didn't tell me it was a typing game. Mark form pretty T E Ray Oh Penis <laughs> Well that's it of that game. <laughs> You're the first person I've seen lose at that.
Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So you basic run down of something that happened to me. I murdered my friends. Anyways. <laughs> sorry. Sorry if some of it is written weird. But I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. The hell's a consulting firm? Anyways. Life at the firm was a, was a consultant jungle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave me much room for leisure. Let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Left my job. <laughs> I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggests that we take a weekend getaway to Royal Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. My other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Is that it? Two days later. <laughs> Is this chill? Fuck, how do I answer that? Front my switch to the elevator first. At first. Oh. I said, well, I'm Rick, your host, and I know if you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. We're already confirmed chicken at 3 p.m. Yes, correct the QOP at all. Well, because the code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting in it. Open. You can think it. Just booked. Yeah, right. Answer my phone anymore. P please call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. We're in the park garage now. Are you downstairs yet? <laughs> I don't know how, how to feel what you just said. Wait, what did I say? What? That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? There we go. I guess. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the bag and we'll get on our way. Where's my staff? You so sick back to it. I can't even say this is chill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I'm sorry, Chew. Um, did I soft like myself? <laughs> Just your bag and get it rolling. I, uh, I don't have a bag. I can't place anything. You open the elevator again. I legit think I soft locked myself. Yep, I did. I cannot open it again. <laughs> oh. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> Alright then, Harp, are you ready for the road? Let's do this. I just started out of use that better. Shut up, Chew. Four twenty-six p.m. It is ten fifty-two p.m. <laughs> I 
I am an asshole. Wait, I have... I have knobs on the, on the back of my microphone. I don't know what they do. I just noticed that now. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out of the out into the real world. Really, Chew? Right, don't touch things when you don't know what they do. I wanted to say something, but I can't because the horny thing. And we we just didn't know how much the real world would would you know suck sometimes. Speaking, oh uh, wait, change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? Working on this project uses a machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. I don't know what that means. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do? We consult. <laughs> Get F. He means AI. He means AI. Oh, great. I don't like him. Why, why did I look over there? Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, some people... Someone's idea of turning it into a, a tiny home on wheels or something. I've heard people do that on the internet. It's nearly 5 p.m. I haven't received a conversation text for you. Just... I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. The roads near where we can go a little dangerous. If not in a safe area, please let me know if you want to arrive. Thanks, much. Oh, wait, we should be around 6 p.m. Oh. Jesus! Oh, snap. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, eating, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. What? <laughs> Okay, please confirm when you check in. Travel safe. <laughs> you know, they didn't want me to drive because they know I would crash and probably off myself multiple times before I get there. How far is it now? We should put about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through intergalactic space. What? <laughs> Look at the way this like swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Right, don't take info on indigenous cultures from white people. They're infamously white, very misinformed about them. <laughs> wow, this is some shitty snow if it's not sticking. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wish my nose ones are so stocked up. My favorite part of horror game, the black screen. And there we go, 5.14 p.m. <laughs> We're still driving? <laughs> Yo, Hart, check that out. What? A, a Moe's Pizza? I'm like house intolerant, you bitch. <laughs> Would you rather walk? You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. <laughs> I'm so happy I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Hart. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> are you gonna open a door for me? Oh, you are. Come on in, Hart. Thank you. 
reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here, I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Wow. coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit, why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. you only I, okay, so that was Queso. Okay, I wasn't sure at first. never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Is your yes. 9 to 5 stressing you out? Yes. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they're also safe with each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that I want I don't out. like that picture <laughs> we have many options to choose from including pet friendly alcohol friendly family <laughs> size friendly. underground and many more underground so if you need a vacation and want it cheap visit rentacabin.com and enjoy really? the stay of a lifetime <laughs> you, you, you can beat me but you can never beat the taste of UFO burgers. Put an end to meals from cheap food what? dogs. A secret <laughs> recipe that has been passed down for 6,000 years. Traveled from the Burr 02 galaxy to the Gur 04 galaxy. Our journey begins with the best beef sourced in the most unconventional way. In what way? That's the sweet secret of the establishment. <laughs> the buns are compressed in a special yeah. galactic press powered by dark matter. The temperature inside fuses oh, really? the sides of the buns together. Okay, so I'm going to wait for it. What the fuck? <laughs> Since my cows disappeared, I take care of my sorrows with burgers. I haven't eaten anything this delicious in a long time. Katrine, I miss you. Come home. I promise to sow more grass. Come and see for yourself. Burgers what so the delicious, fuck? your eyes will pop out of your own. What am I watching? <laughs> Okay, well, I like that. What? Hey, that's the person I pissed off. Mark, it's funny. You weren't here this morning for coffee break. You know, I actually worked on one of the... I actually worked on one of these animations. Really? That's kind of cool. I may have been a bit vague, but okay, if you want, well, this morning's coffee, that's counted as one of those moments. And no, we're not going to penalize you for that, of course. But it's mainly for you that I'm doing this. I mean, look at that really. And the fact you believe me is mainly concerned. God damn it, you! What the? It's over. It's coming with the way, my death on its consequences. I'm gonna blow my ass off tonight. Big fuck you, Janet. What the fuck? Prince Silas Tranquility, who are we? 
updates. So I just wanted to you all. I'm a coward. What? I just want to see the bus to add. Oh. That turns it off. I don't want to turn it off. I want to see the bus to add. Where are your patients? <laughs> Care blanket. Sounds pretty good. What the fuck? Actual customer. <laughs> it was alright. Very <laughs> music. What? I'll see. I want to turn the game audio up a tiny bit. I don't know how. I don't have any options in game to, to turn it because X just goes to max messages. So uh, I guess we're just fucked. Ads are there before I see the bus to add. Eh, that'll be fine for now. Someone is being patient. I want to see the a uh, busta. Okay. Okay, I see a busta. He's sleeping. Yes. Do you yes. Have a dog? Yes. No? Well, you're in luck, because here at Leary's what? Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership, we have it all. <laughs> what? Buy a dog, and then buy a car buy for that dog, along with a purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. One year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only $299.99 a year. We offer dirt cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor. Dave's dealership because we're the best. Dogs purchased from our dealership are certified pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Note, not all dogs are tested for influenza and may or may not carry multiple military grade weaponry. Not to worry, they're dirt cheap as well. So come on down to Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get yourself the deal of a lifetime. Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Okay, it's just the same thing. I just got him to look away from the counter. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Evening, folks. Looks like the, the Coles got everyone craving pizza tonight. Fun folks, know what you want to eat? Okay, three, thice, three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you... Pepperoni, cheese. I should not be eating this because I am lactose intolerant. And I guess the most special. Mike, I never agreed to three pizza slices. Let me order for myself. <laughs> Any drinks for you folks? I should cover us just the pizzas today. Thanks. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. I hate my kid. <laughs> Tell me twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. I have to pay. Wow, you're you're, you're being such a good good man, not paying for. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep, isn't like great. <laughs> Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. 
Also, for $22.97, I can get a full-on extra-large pizza from a restaurant. Like, goddamn. Oh, I hate mushrooms. Well, that's great. Long sniff! Smells so good in here. Long sniff. What the fuck? Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nara, please be careful. I hate that you're li leaving so late. Try so, don't worry. Make sure your heart stays up to let you in. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. That I knew that it was not I'll familiar. I'll done before you know it and be on my way. Also, I have terrible internet. Alright. See you, Chu. We'll... I'll be... Shitting this guy's car when you come back. Did you listen to Nora's voice message group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? To act like you know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. My pussy is not for sale. For number 27, you folks are right here. <laughs> Alright, you folks are all set. Thank you. I thought I'd turn the eating sounds off. Oh, damn, this pizza snaps. I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. You know, right? Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pull in the drive. That's a nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. So we might be going in the same direction. Come on if I hitch a ride with you. Where are you headed? Just head where the road takes me. I'm a bit off of a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do you say? Care to give this fr free spirit ride down that snowy road? Not sure, I'm sorry. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I ride in the bed. It's my friend's car, I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind of people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all just get me wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired as all. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, that was weird. You can't even order anything. I bet I forgot you that, though. After all these years, you're still that same old heart. Damn heart, you actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful, wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but wouldn't you really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Well, fuck you. A orange peel isn't really all that edible. A fucking crust is. Uh, uh, 
that piece was perfect for your last journey. Oh wow, no recycling. What a, su a surprise. Yeah, that was good. Ollie, that was good. Alright then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the... Where's the snow? Give me the keys. <laughs> Alright, the weather is off. Why don't you... Why don't you drive on the way home? I'm gonna try... Drive so you... You can take a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're gonna give me, Arv. <laughs> You'll be afraid of me. Give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine. But there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of the bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Those... That fucker actually made me pay for his meal. <laughs> I get the drive. I get the drive. I get the drive. I get the drive. Or not? Just a black screen. The fact. Did. 5.49 p.m. Okay, that took a while. Vermont, this is your I told you driving in the snow is no joke. Your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts. I crashed my truck. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season. There's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, <laughs> We're just gonna do it old fashioned hit and run. <laughs> Because you did it doesn't mean you're guilty. I'm I, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Run, we're like having fun. You missed the turn at first. Herb, did you get your lights from Studio Bob? <laughs> the answer is yes. I crashed Mike's truck. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Look, see, the thing is, it's Mike's truck. So they're gonna believe he did the driving. <laughs> I told you driving a snow was no joke. I should just let Mike drive. Wait. Shackled by lust? Jesus sex free? Now I'd rather be an asexual whore. Fuck you. Damn it, I missed. 
Oh, so hi, Zanju. How are you been? Drove past our cabin at first. There are so many cabins. Which one's our cabin? I can't tell. Is this it? It was a very cold night. Oh, yep, it is. I'm gonna leave the car parked in the road because fuck loss. Alright, 5176. I could have parked. I couldn't have parked Mike's truck before checking it. God damn it! Why are we get, getting out here, Harp? Yeah, fuck it. We're in the cops. I told you driving a snow was no <laughs> There. And this should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Well, I did. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm an expert driver. There's a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Okay, so if I... Wait. One... Seven... Six! Are you just... Aren't you going to get my bag? Let me go get it. What do we got for food? What a great place. I know. I don't need it's not so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the rent. Hit the john. Take your time, Mike. What? While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. House is well finished. Where's the fucking groceries? Open the cooler first. Why am I getting spooky music? Just one little teeny gun. Ooh, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. So I have to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll pee back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking your our bags. Thanks. Oh. But I- Whoa, well, okay, my bag just vanished. Okay. The smell alone told me that pizza really did a number on Mike. <laughs> Text Rick. Hi, we've checked in. Ah, that was a nice pee. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands. Oh, feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So ready to pack out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Oh, 
Oh, look, it's my bedroom. As well as a, an, an average New York apartment. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. What's it, Daisy? I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. Wanna love a young couple? No, 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 no. We're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Hart. I was answering his question. Your next question, Sunny. You made a statement and you. Never mind. Oopsie Daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause this stir with you two. We expect they didn't want to be here. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on Fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left in a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. It's my family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home right now. Be bad owner if I didn't give if you had a grand tour. Oh, Jesus, you just pushed my tits away. I was this middle aged man with nervous energy. Here's our shower. That that thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. I'm going to show you the other bedroom now. That's an interesting shower. I didn't know that was a shower. Look, Hart, this home has a, has a nice ass view. I think that's nice, mister. Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Why do I get the feeling this old man's gonna murder us? Jesus, get out of my face! Holy smokes, this is incredible, definitely. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view on the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, folks, let's head back to the inn before I catch the cold here again. <laughs> get out of my face! Look, we'll have anal later. Here's a storage room, aka a New York apartment. <laughs> if you need anything, folks. Uh, uh, wait. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on the right. Sort of like these, you never know. We might not need it. Trust me, it's always best to know where your light is. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. Alright folks, I see you already stacked up the fridge with some tasty food. See the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down for, to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you the folks the water heater. It's when it crashed, that's right. Oh yeah, I like the darkness. Totally not gonna get murdered. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the bottom of the bo uh button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back, right up, and you'll be back in business. Pretty sure that's not how water heaters work. 
Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? I think you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need it. The space, they really ought to keep the upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. I can open the door. Did I mention, well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I brought this house, I, I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. That's scary, folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really sit down here. Hehehe. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. At this point, creep meter was creeping from 6 to a 10. Are you coming, miss? Alright, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what's the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, Sydney, that's right. Her name for a pretty girl. Is it just me, or is this dude super weird? Very weird. Are you ready to get my pussy pounded? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. <laughs> cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if the fella is like... Like you're under... Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> what a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so no shower curtains. That's great. Singer Invader from Space reveals the truth about Nut. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Bites Tiger attacking police. Sweet. Wait. Swedish woman marries parrot in big wedding? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Art, check this out. I found this fishing rod in, in that shed. Find a, find a catch center? I think you mentioned that would be pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed. So we can both give it a shot. Ah, yes. Using people's shit without their permission. That's perfect. You want to grab an other fishing rod heart? Yeah, just give me a second. I totally understand everything in here. Anyways. Where's the other fishing rod? Oh. Sep, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We need to catch three carp, though. You up for a challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need to write bait for carp. Check out this bait information on the board. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're gonna catch some carp, Harp. Please don't rhyme with my name. <laughs> 
All right, where's carp, 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 and carp, sweet. Why is carp attracted to sweet corn? I got some corn. Come on, hop. It's, it's this way. Jeez, I want to use cheese. Well, it doesn't catch carp, chew. Yes, it does. Oh, it does? Oh, well, too late. I hope those carps are biting today. Wait, whoa, no, 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 no. You know, I think the old saying is right. Bad day for fishing is still better than a good day at work. How do I do this? Should we read the screen? Level impossible. I am up for the challenge. Oh shit. <laughs> I just ruined the <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh. Ah shit! I didn't know I had to use the A and D's. Oh, I was gonna point up a tough fight, huh? No, 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 no. Yeah, get your ass over here. They say whenever there's one card, there's always more. Okay, I got it now. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, throwback. We don't want blue gill. You stay in here. <laughs> Fuck off! Nothing is too impossible for the streamer. Oh, stay, stay, stay. Fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, just one more carp left. You got this. Are you even fishing? What's on the bridge, Monkus? I don't know. I don't see anything. No, I, 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 no, 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 no. You will stay there. Fuck yeah! All right, all right. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Two small guy on a bridge to the left. Let's do it. Oh, you didn't have to push me. I earned all the fish, you bastard. Wait, I can toss a fishing rod. I can. Eh. 
Fuck your shit. <laughs> That's true. It doesn't relate to what I said at all. <laughs> Shut up. It does in my own mind. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, marinade? What the fuck is that? Just take a bowl and throw it in the ginger paste. Cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Okay, you're, you're throwing so much shit at me. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. Oh. Missing one ingredient, I think. Yeah, where's the olive oil? Oh. <laughs> the thought of bright cookies scares me. <laughs> Fuck you, I just made it, bitch. Do you mind throwing the fish in, in the marinade in the casserole? Well, I chop up these veggies, veggies on it. You know, the fish is first. Well, where's the fit? Oh. You did not descale them. They still have their scales. Wait, I can't. I can't reach the final one. Oh, I only need two. Now, can you add the veggies? I read it, need, it needs to go for four, 30 minutes at 400. Are you just making me cook because I'm the woman? Those carrot are going to taste amazing. Yeah, after I come, come on, on yours. Probably. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room, next to the living room. Guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room next to the... I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let's see. Why did I say I saw some in the living room next to the living room? I'm assuming it's this one. Alright. Dark. Tower stack. Chest. Alright. Where's... Where's Sorry? Aw, oh, we don't have... We don't have a fake Sorry. Here we go. We got this. <laughs> Oh, snap. Is that a wizard board? Molly once told me how she contacted her, her dead grandma through one of these before. It's... No, I want to play Jenga. Shh, too bad. I can't stand her ritual bullshit. Hey. Wow, what the fuck? Remember how to do was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? It's a great idea. Alright, let's go. We're going to be white people. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for spiders down here. We're <laughs> horny. How dare you chew? How dare you? You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Oh. I guess I can't turn that one off. 
Anyways, do you know how this how this works? Uh, no. <laughs> so here's how it works. First, we place our fingers tightly on the planchette. That's what happens. You don't get what I want. We have to ask questions, and the spirits, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out these words. The answers. Or at least that's what Molly told me. One more thing, Harp. <laughs> Never take your fingers off the machete until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might trick, take off some spirits, she said. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Alright then, you go first. Can you see us? What does that say? I can't tell what that says! Okay, yes! No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too, go ahead. <laughs> How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. I can't tell what it's spelling. <laughs> Are you friendly? My turn. I can't tell what it's saying. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. My oh, crap. What the H, Mike? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. There's some freaky... S word going down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. <laughs> what the H, Harp? I figured you would move your butt too. Would have been nice if you had checked. You heard of fight or flight? Cindy, I'm sorry, okay. Whatever. <laughs> well, I know you're not gonna help me if it, when a murderer comes to the house. Wow, that looks so appetizing. I think our show's about to come on. You wanna watch TV while we heat? Do you mind getting out of my face? Sure. I had to grab a plate. Okay then. I actually don't like fish. Wait. He didn't even turn on the damn TV. Asparagus chocolate cake with a spoonful of mayonnaise. Oh, I remember him. This delicacy is very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After <laughs> letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor. So we gotta find food. Twice as good service we cut fish ourselves. Sorry. You don't have to rain on a parade, Harp. It was no most pizza. But I thought it turned out well. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my life upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on a shipment details for my new DS. Hey, I'll be right back. Hey, looking up here. We, we gotta inject it with... 
getting a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Oh, we're watching the show, Chew. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. <laughs> this dish is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. This dish really soothes the soul, almost like a cayenne cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Here comes your voice Jeffrey before you ask. 2% or half and half. That's all right, Berlesi. Ah. Oh. use diesel. So okay, I don't know who Berlesi is though. Oil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But I, I do love this. Whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline molecules right. merge with the Two E's next to each other don't make it the A eh sound. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, it, if your oven catches on fire, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, I I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! No, Why? No, it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Ugh. Bye, Grandma. And stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there. Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyway, what the? As we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat. Okay, well that was a show. I had to do both of our plates. Also, are you not supposed to eat the, the fish head? Because I know there's like summer spoons that call for fish heads. Some cultures and some people do eat the head. Okay. I wasn't sure at first. Yeah. So that means these people just wasted some food. How dare they? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What the F? But here we typically don't. Don't make sounds. Walk slow. Okay. We're not making a sound. What? <gasps> Jesus! You're like I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Uh, 
I decided to hide in the basement. Oh yeah, he's terrified of that place. Oh, I don't like the music picking up. Sign in a nook under the stairs. Oh, I actually have to. Got you. It wasn't even a challenge. I figured you wouldn't be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. <laughs> it ain't cheating, Chew. It's being smart. <laughs> Alright, my turn to hike now. You better close your eyes and start counting. And you don't get caught unless the audio goes into the red. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're not here, I come. Get okay, one, I'm gonna turn all the lights on. Open that. And chew no hints. Even though you never give me hints. <laughs> Got you. I wasn't gonna help you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. For me once, shame on you. For me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something st sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. Swear in my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door up in here. Are you gonna make me go up there? Can't reach without a step stool. Are you gonna check it out? You're taller than me, why don't you go? I think, uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney, but one of us really should look. Where are you hiding those broad shoulders, Mike? <laughs> Seriously, Sydney, I don't think that would fit through. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's the cat! It's the kitty cat. It's such a cute little kitty cat. Is 
Does the cat follow me down here? Senior so, Kate, okay. it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Yeah. Let me give her one of the car after I, I come find you again. I think I'll hide in the tool shed in the backyard. I had hide in the tool shed. This is the tool shed, right? Am I in the right area? And Chew, is this the tool shed? Ha, <laughs> there you are. Okay, yes it is. Damn heart, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is... is Worth doing well. I right, turn close those pretty eyes. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in, anyways. You'll find me, and we'll go to bed. Wait, we're not even gonna feed the cat. Wow. Let's go to the very bottom. <laughs> well, obviously they're upstairs now. Without the step stool, I'm gonna check on the kitty cat. Yeah, that's a good kitty. Penis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Hold on, what happened? Rick, why are you back? Fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. This is my house. I, I don't need it to check in if you... Every time I, I, I fix something. Never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So, I'd imagine you don't know what tools are needed. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. <laughs> For anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> uh, do you think you maybe can fix it tomorrow? It's me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and we'd like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call in law enforcement. Wait, please, let me handle this. 
Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. I hit two police cars. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just gonna do some work if you can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to do it. To it. That didn't work. Let me lock the door. I'm pretty sure he has a key. Like, that was a dumb thing to say. <laughs> yeah, let me like the, the house owner who probably has a key to the house. Ah, yes. The infernal black screen of nothingness. How long are we going to sit here? <laughs> is this why it's two hours? Because we have to sit in a black screen for a long period of time? After knocking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed there was nothing off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here, so let's just enjoy ourselves, like I said. But by the time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Alright, I'll be right back. Ah, yes. Drinking something I'm not allowed to drink. Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. And here includes the sex scene. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can only see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. You guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Why, Chew? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This one's exactly how I thought our getaway was was going to go, Sydney. No, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. <laughs> You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge into place whenever he wants. We rented a damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? I, this actually might be a sex scene. <laughs> Alright, you know. I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. 
It didn't start out awkward, though. Like, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. It sure did. I'm hoping they... I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I want to say. I guess you've been meaning to talk about that. Just... Let, you just let me worry about the details, Cindy. Like, I don't think it's a good time. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. I guess I'll meet you downstairs. No, Cindy, you stay here and get some s sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Okay, Mike, get in the volcano. I'm gonna talk about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really, f if you really feel like we have to. <laughs> he really was going to try to turn out to be a 16. A bad one. I could have gone to bed without locking the front door. Honestly, when I go to sleep, I make sure all doors are locked. Not just one door. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you, you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. Sound like my dad. You blame me? How about a hug? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Not now, Mike. Sweet jeans. Get some sleep, Sippy. So Dress like my. God damn it. I can't see well with the lights off. Okay. I was kidding again to sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Well, I guess it's locked. Oh, it is locked. <laughs> Nora still thinks we get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up. And I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. What is going on with the screen? <laughs> Someone is at the front door. They realize that someone's outside my house. Uh, do you have any idea what to look, friend? I know any idea of banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was kind of on a ride for some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two or more hours. Stay on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside till my friends get right. Friends get here to get to me. You're not coming in. In the story. Are you fucking kidding me? You gonna let me freeze to death out here? I'd make you go hiking the snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big as a bitch here as you were back in the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still unkind. 
get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Yes, there is! I hit two cop cars! Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck out here either. Dial 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. But let me tell you something. You get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Come as a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired he was. Couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Also, I like how Chu didn't even react to me saying I'm drinking something I shouldn't be. I'm surprised she didn't react to that. <laughs> the fuck was that? What the fuck? Sorry, about to call for help. In front of someone, he's banging on the door to search for me. Very scary. We hear a motor outside our house. Can you please come look and see? You're so close. It's Rick. Open the door. Jeez, what the hell's going on here? Thank God you're here. It's my decision. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, he went to pick up the other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Um... I don't like this. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when you stay- when to stay away. Michael, what do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. Get back in one. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. You just stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What did you just say? The front. This is my fucking house. I won't leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine, this house, and you. Oh. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house, it'll be one of us.
Okay. I can't move. Was that supposed to happen? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was another hiding spot in the basement. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, the infinite black screen. Who doesn't love the infinite black screen? So he's going to stop by over here.
wasn't fair. Because I couldn't reach the attic with the goddamn step stool. You're just bad. Shut up. I'll see if you can tell I was reading my mic. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Because there's only two places I know that are hiding spots. One is the closet in the bedroom, and the other is the basement. Shut up. I actually don't know what to do. Do I need to, like, break for the door? <sighs> oh! The shed outside! I think. Well, that was just unfortunate timing. <laughs> that was just unfortunate timing.
What in the fuck do I do? Oh, wow, I'm actually near the end of the game. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yes, you, yes, you are. I didn't grab this step stool. <laughs> That's what I had to do the entire time. All right, time to go mute. That's right, motherfucker. Now, for Merrick right say, I think I just go down. Mm. I was wrong. <laughs> Good job, right? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had to, like, sit and wait or something. I don't know what I was supposed to do at that point. <laughs> all, I needed in, all I knew, I had to go and add it. Was I supposed to message someone? Have you tried looking down when you get any egg? 
now. Anyways, mute. God fucking damn it! <laughs> yeah, after I finish this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest my body from COVID. Even though I plan to do SCB games after this, I think I should rest my body. Especially since I'm drinking something my doctor said I shouldn't ever drink. Because of my narcolepsy. But, whatever. We're doing it anyways. Because, uh, fuck... Fuck my health, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, go on mute. Okay, I'm finally unmute now. Looking down. Oh, he's still there. Are you alright? Just got done talking with the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Okay, so now I guess I go down there. Oh, I can't move fast. I think I broke my leg. I don't know everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And plan on robbing us during our stay. The cops think, seem to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. 
Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Oh, I guess there's no sex scenes. <laughs> Survivor! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that. Anyways. Yeah, that was fun. people worked on this game. Mike didn't die. Heartbreaking. <laughs> oh my god. Top supporters. Thank you for playing Fears of Fathom. I wonder if the games are going to get even longer from now on. Like they set up more of a story. Because if I remember correctly... This was like 30 minutes or so. Oh, shoot. And it's like getting longer and longer and longer that we, we go forward. This was the last one, Bright. Oh! They're not making any more? No one's not making any more after this. Oh. Huh. If you have a story to share, send it to you. <laughs> Even though it's still... The email's still here. <laughs> 